Let's continue to look at performance evaluation and we'll look at a problem relating to evaluating investment centers. So get out your lecture notes and follow along. Remember investment center managers have to, they're held accountable for earning an income in relation to the asset base that they have to work with. We have two companies, Longhorn Company and Aggie Company. We'll look at them separately. Um, for Longhorn, we know that sales are $400,000. Net operating income is unknown, letter A. Average operating assets, $200,000. ROI was 10%. Minimum desired return, 20%. Minimum income in dollars is B. And residual income is C. So we're going to use return on investment and residual income calculations to solve for those variables uh, because those are the, the two techniques that you use for evaluating investment center managers. All right, so remember ROI, one of the ways to calculate it is net operating income divided by average operating assets. We're trying to solve for net operating income, so we'll go and we find that the ROI was 10%. That's the actual ROI and we're looking for the actual net operating income. So that's why we use the 10% instead of the 20%. We were given that average operating assets were $200,000. So we can compute net operating income to be $20,000. So we've solved for A. Now to solve for B and C, since the calculation for C is residual income, I'm going to use that calculation uh, to solve for that. You see the information at the bottom of the screen or you can look in your lecture notes. Also recall that we had computed income to be $20,000. All right, residual income, you take net operating income, you subtract an investment charge, and that's what's left over, and it's called residual income. So we start with that net operating income we computed to be $20,000. The investment charge is the minimum desired ROI times the average operating assets. 20% times 200000 so the investment charge is 40000 Now that is the answer to B. So note that minimum income is 40000 and the investment charge is 40000 So this manager knew, given my assets of 200000 I have to earn $40,000 of income this year. All right, since they did not, they have a negative residual income of 20,000. Now if you look at that information, the ROI was 10% and the minimum ROI was 20%. Based on that, we knew this would be a negative residual income because what that means is that this division did not earn the minimum rate of return of 20%. All right, so that's letters A, B, and C for Longhorn Company, so let's look at Aggie Company. Sales, $1 million. Net operating income, $200,000. ROI is D. Average operating assets, E. Minimum desired return, F. Minimum income, $160,000. Profit margin, 20%. Asset turnover, 1.25. Now you can see that there are two ways to calculate ROI. You can take net operating income over average operating assets. But since the, the assets are unknown, we'll use the other formula. We are given profit margin and asset turnover. So if you'll remember, ROI can be calculated as profit margin times asset turnover. So ROI is 20% times 1.25 or 25%. That's letter D.
Now to solve for letter E, the average operating assets, I've put the other formula for calculating ROI, net operating in income, divided by average operating assets. This is just a, a shorter version of the profit margin times asset turnover. But that's going give to give us an ability to solve for E. To do so, we'll take the 25% ROI that we calculated. We know that income is given to be $200,000 for the division. So average operating assets are, are unknown, but we can solve for those algebraically. And when you do, you will get $800,000. 200,000 divided by 0.25. All right, again, I've provided the information for Aggie Company, just to remind you. To solve for the minimum return, we're going to use the residual income calculation since minimum return is used to calculate the investment charge. Net operating income minus investment charge is residual income. Net operating income is given to be $200,000. The investment charge, or the minimum income, is given to be $160,000. So residual income well, that investment charge is calculated as F times 800,000, the average assets that we computed. Residual income is 40,000, but we need to solve for F. Minimum ROI times 800,000 is 160,000. So minimum ROI is 20%. So Aggie Company earned a return of 25%. The minimum return was 20%, so the residual income is a positive number. And that's the answer to letter F. All right, that's the end of this problem. So as usual, go work some homework problems, see where your questions are, and bring them to class. See you then.